My whole house on fire. Definitely think the house is on fire. I think this is what fire looks like, guys. <laughs> I'm on fire. I'm on fire. What is going on, brothers, sisters? Welcome back to Vintage Story. We've got a lot to do. I want to start maybe working on a farm because I noticed one crucial thing when I was looking at my stats here. Uh, we have a nutrition to take care of, so me just sucking on chunks of fat, I don't think is going to cut it. So I don't know what the benefit is or the detriment to not having an even, ba an even balance in your diet, but it's probably not great. So why don't we start with getting a farm. I think what I'll do is I'll go and clear this out and then kind of flatten it out a bit, maybe like just above water level. And then we'll make a small farm out here. I don't know what we're gonna grow yet. We literally haven't found anything to, to farm anyways, except for some cattails. But I'm gonna put these in the water out here as well to probably like around the edges. So then my, my farm is just kind of surrounded by retails. I think that'll look nice. You can see in here, I made myself this reed basket. The recipe was just this here, essentially. That, with three reeds each, got us a basket. And then this can hold eight storage items, so that's awesome. We're going to get some more reeds and make, make those. But I will need a new knife. My knife is breaking. We did get a fox kill. Check this out. And on top of that, we're just getting some farming done. I think, I don't know what happened to my trees over there. They lost some leaves. So that's uh, unfortunate for the trees. And I did see, let me grab my sticks here. I found this cool recipe as well. If we did something like this, we get a tool rack. So if I put this here, and I grab like my, this is my shovel. And I place that down. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. I can put my fire whacker here, I think. But oh, maybe I can't put a fire whacker in there. I don't think a fire whacker will fit. Will it? Oh, a spear will fit though. And it looks like you can put one in the top and one in the bottom. So like while I'm home, I can put my spears out here. I think I might put a tool rack over here and we'll keep some spears on the outside of the house I think that'll look nice actually hold on let me let me take that back I want to put that on the other side here right there if I come in here grab these spears bam I'll have to make another one Nice, we can put some spears on the outside of the house. That way when we come back from hunting, we can just unload our spears. I do want to make a bow. So let me grab this dry grass. I think the recipe... Oh, we need rope. How do I get rope? I need vines. How do I get vines? Obtained from breaking vines. Well, that makes sense. Obtained by breaking a locust nest. Locust nest, locust nest. Okay. Is there a different bow I could use? Longbow requires like twine lumps of fat interesting uh the recurve bones leather which we don't know how to make raw bush meat that's actually pretty good that's not a hard recipe all right so we're gonna make a crude bow so why don't we actually i want to go out on adventure because i want this bow so we're gonna go out i think i'm gonna look for flint so we can make flint arrows probably the most basic arrow we can make a crude arrow Stick in a flint arrowhead, and then a flint arrow has feathers, which we can get from breaking vessels or commodity trader. I'm sure if we find chickens, we could get them as well. Okay. I'm going to grab, I'm going to run over to the trader, grab some of our stuff back, and then we're going to get ready for a little adventure here. I'm going to throw, oops. E, there we go. Put that in here. We go grab some meat. Grab this bush meat. I mean, I'm not gonna starve, which is great. I just need a better bet. I just need a better balance of my diet. Grab this. There we go. Be right back. 
Got some wolves over here. They seem aggressive. I got, I almost killed one, but it ran away from me. I'm just trying to be careful. I don't know where they went. I also heard a, what sounded like a wolf pup. Definitely sounded like a puppy. I think I just saw him in the grass over here. Tree lines are killer. That's a tree. I don't know where he went. Here's one of my spears. Hello? Hello? Any of the wolf to my right? There's a puppy right here. I can see him moving. Can I like take you? I'm gonna leave him be. I wonder if you can like capture creatures somehow in this game and tame them. I'm sure you can. I don't know where mama and papa went, but they were gonna become meat, so they're probably probably good they left. So what we're doing is I want to head up to this area here. It kind of looks like a nice open field and I'm looking for a few things. One, I just want to grab more cattails so I can have a couple more baskets for the house. I also want to grab some more roots from them so I can make a nice cattail farm at home. I don't know how useful these are later game, but at the very least, well, it'll look nice. Nice. Probably not a lot of meat on these guys. Oh, we did get some leather though, or some hide. So. Once we figure out how tanning works, that'll be pretty good for us. I'm also going to be grabbing flint on the way. Flint is better than chert. It does more damage and the durability is higher. Hold on, let me double check on that one. I don't know if the durability was higher. So like, look, flint spear, 32 durability. Attack power is two, range three and a half and five piercing when thrown. The chert spear is 16 durability, so it's literally half. There's a little less damage and one less damage when thrown as well. So overall, uh, use flint to start with. You got a fox here. Oh, nice shot. A little hard to get used to it. It does have a bit of a, a wide range when thrown, which makes sense because it is a spear, especially at these distances. Come on. There we go. What's the dead female fox say? Ooh, had some good stuff. All right. We're making some progress. Ooh, we got plenty of cattails. All right. Got some cranberries. I'm wondering if I break the bush, if I'll get seeds, because I don't want to come out here for cranberries. Hold on. I'm going to grab a stick real quick. I made a hoe head. I don't know if that's going to do a lot for us, but there we go. Here's a stick. And do that. And a flint hoe head. Okay. You know, it's till soil, but we'll see if this does me any good here. So like nine. What's this? Parsley. All right, like cranberry bush. What did I just get? I actually got the bush. Can I plant the bush? I can just put the bush down. <laughs> You're coming home with me. Well, look what I found. I found some blue clay and soil. I did bring my shovel in case I found some good dirt or soil in this case. Let me see. We got, where is it? There it is. Blue clay. So eight pieces bake into a hardened blue clay. So hardened blue clay. No, that's not what I want. How about just blue clay? So we can turn these into bowls, jugs, other storage containers, and anvil mold. Okay, good. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of this. So let's farm this up. And we can start moving into like a, the clay age. Yep, just made that up myself. I don't even think I need a shovel for this. Hold on. Smack it with my meat. Oh, it's a little slow. That's oh, so slow. All right, speed. Speed prevails.
Oh, there's a ton of blue clay here. I'm about to have two stacks of it, one off. All right. I think two stacks of blue clay will be fine for the moment. I don't want to get rid of too much of anything else. I think I'll head back. Um, you know, I'll smash these these berries down my face just to get them out of my inventory. And you can see I've eaten some fruits and some veggies that I've just kind of found along the way. So I do want to explore a little bit more. Ooh, look, we got some more rye here. Got some more rye. I found a little flax. We'll talk about when we get back to the house and we'll start a small farming area. I do need to find, oh, there's some blue clay here too. So you can see if you look at, you can see here that says low fertility soil. I'm pretty much trying to find high fertility soil, I suppose. So that way we can have like the best materials, the best growth rate possible without having to redo the farm at some point. So I don't know if peat exists in the game. I wonder if peat exists. Peat. It does. Peat. So probably peat. We'll probably look for peat or high fertility or anything that'll just help us out. So I'm just going to keep exploring for a bit. You know, we'll grab food and stuff that I see along the way. Um, we were obviously pretty decent for the clay department at the moment. I know that's obviously not going to be enough, but I think it's good enough to get us started. What I should do, though, is on our map here, zoom in right here. This is a blue clay. Blue clay. We'll give it this. We'll give it this. Nope, blue. There you go. Save. Bam. That's really hard to see. I'm going to forget that's there and think that's a little tiny pond. 20 bucks. Nailed it. What's this? Looks like we're getting towards like a sandy area. I don't think I have a torch on me. Definitely don't have a torch on me. There's a light down there though. Huh. Requires copper to break. Okay. So certain things do require certain tier materials. Go get this rooster I just knocked out. Dead rooster. Low creature weight. And awesome, we got some leather, poultry. Um, I don't think I care about the poultry, honestly. Not yet. Definitely need more inventory space. I know there are a bunch of mods, but I figure at least for the first playthrough, I just want to kind of do it vanilla. Maybe if there's just like a, a standard quality of life mod, I may add it eventually. Like I saw one that was like a... Uh, an in-game clock like that doesn't really change much oh <laughs> oh god that was comical uh, which doesn't really change much so like i thought about it but i just didn't really feel like doing it i'm just gonna play vanilla for now and then if people love this and you do want to keep seeing more which you can show by hitting that like button down below making sure you're subscribed uh, we'll do modded runs after we'll just start over what does heather do heather 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 burns i'm thinking some things in the vanilla mode just don't have a purpose and then like there's shit tons of mods for this game so i assume like a lot of the mods will do stuff for us <laughs> no 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 ah! Lost him. That big bitch at. You don't just get to do that to me and run off. Brick. Got to figure out how to heal. I actually don't know how to heal. Oh, that's large red meat. We'll have to take a break here for a second. Let's see. Maybe I'll get rid of the red currant bushes. I'll take the meat. Get rid of the turt spear. I'll grab this fat for a second just to suck it down because I'm an animal. There we go. Wait. Yep, there's the shovel. And... The bones. I was going to say, I have bones. 
flint spear back over here. What's this? Granite cobblestone. Is that the one I was shooting at earlier? Yes. Yes, it was. Sandstone. We got another trader over here. So I saw this trader on the map, which is why I started making my way this way, even though it was so far away. I wanted to see what this trader did and then mark him so we can come back to him if we want something from him later. Uh, let me throw the grains on the ground real quick again. I'll just eat this just to fill my stomach. Okay. Plenty full now. Now let's see what our boy's up to. And I figure we might, I might just hang around here. Lupin? Surprised these don't just like make dyes or something. Lupin. Purple. Just a flower. Wait, what did that say? Yeah, just nothing really. Okay. So in we go. What's up with our boy? What's up, Roy? What do you got? So he's got a belt, such clothes, so... Okay. So we could sell him a tin bronze, tin bronze pickaxe, which probably isn't hard to get. It'll just take a bit. That'd be worth four gears. Ooh, rice bread, leather boots. I don't know how to make those. Bismuth, candles, a leather backpack, an ore blasting bomb. That sounds awesome. Has a 10% chance of destroying ores and a very high chance of destroying crystals. Okay. Leather reinforced wooden shield, a linen sack. Good to know. Five slots. A wolf pup. Hold on. So, yeah. Perhaps a trader would pay well for its companionship. I saw the wolf pup. How do I get that? Ooh, cooked red meat, though. We could sell him some meat. He'll give us one gear for eight of them. Oh, that could be good. I could make a quick campfire and just cook up some of the meat and sell two gears to him. And I could grab, like, a pair of boots. Which would give us some, some warmth. That's four, seven, four, seven. We get trousers, two warmth. I could get a, 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 vas a vessel, but I feel like we're just going to be making those soon anyways. Wire belt, such clothes, front of night hood. Eh, probably not worth it. Auction house? I don't know what that's about. That must be for like online play. Anything in your chest that I can steal, sir? I don't think so, but it's always worth a shot. Ah. Can... Sorry, sorry. All right. Well. I don't think he's going to be that useful. I mean, well, hold on. What kind of commodity trader was he? Clothes, I assume. Treasure hunter trader. Local goods. So we'll put this on the map still. We'll mark him. Uh, we'll put the people as like brownish. And we'll do local goods. Treasure. Trader. And do we have like a people? Yeah, there it is. Put that down. Okay. Now we know what he is. All right, I'm going to just explore for a little bit while I still have some daylight, and then we'll come back, sleep in the trader's den, and then probably just head home. I don't see much else around here. We're pretty far away, of course. Like, there's the house. There's us. I don't see anything too crazy. Like, there's some sort of structure over there, but that's pretty far. There's a little structure there as well. What I probably want to do is head over to the east a bit to see if I can find some vines. Gonna grab these cranberries real quick and eat these. Keep us topped off. You can see here our nutrition's a little more balanced. I've got health points of 18. Still not too sure what uh, the balance does, but we'll figure it out. What's that? Is that a bunny? What are you? Ah, it was a hare. Getting pretty decent with this spear. Why Why even get a bow? Found some wild vines. I actually forgot I wanted to go to the forest, but where am I? I'm over here. There's some over here, but I just noticed. I was walking around because I was trying to check out all the different floor tiles to find like some high quality stuff, and I found forest floor, and then I was like, wait, vines. And that's one. Aren't you a vine? That's a wild vine. That's a wild vine tip. Wait. <laughs> tip. Wild vine. What do the tips do? Drops when broken. Uh, 
I don't think they do anything. Okay, so I don't care about the tip. Which one's which? What do I have? This is the vine. I just want the vine. No tips, please. Mapley. Branchy leaves. Okay. Is that the only vine? Oh, no. Here's a vine. But what if I just chop the whole tree down? I got two vines. Hell yeah. Another safe journey home. Welcome back, everyone. You all did so well on today's adventure. Let's uh, throw my spears up here. What a great idea. I'm so smart. Speaking of me being smart, I realized something when I looked up the recipe for rope. Uh, there's alternative recipes. Oops, hit back. You ready? Look at that. Look, cattails. He had six cattails the whole time to make one rope. Could have had a bow for the longest time. You got cattails or papyrus. I don't know where the papyrus is. We haven't really been to the desert, but you know what? That's uh, that's just how smart we are. So I thought you'd all enjoy that. I bet some of you were sitting here like, why doesn't he just use cattails? Yep. Well, because I'm fucking dumb. It's okay though. We got to the end result. So that's all that matters for now. So speaking of end result, let's do this. I don't remember the recipe. Was it this? What was the recipe? Rude bow. Ah, like that. And my sticks, bam, bam, oops. All right, we got a crude bow. So the bow does three piercing damage, which is two less than the spears, right? So let me just throw the bow out here for a second. I wonder if I could put like air, like I'm, I need to get a storage device out here for my arrows. Speaking of storage devices, we do have more reeds so, or more cattails. So I'm going to take these and do some of this. And we'll throw this down right here. So now we've got another box to throw some stuff in. I'll throw the reeds in here or the wood in here for now. And you know, just for the moment, oh, that's still my crafting menu. Don't mind me. There we go. Still getting used to how the storage system works in this game. I don't play a lot of games like this. All right, I'm going to throw all these in here for now. And that. Because I think what I want to work on now, put these in here too is getting the farm ready as well as getting some food cooked here. I want to get the farm ready, but I also want to look into clay. Yeah, so I thought it'd be fun to play with some clay. So, all right. So raw bowls can be used for cooking sources combined with fat for permanent light sources and other uses. Okay. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Um, Well, I guess we'll make some bowls. If we do this, we'll cut out this part and then we got to add clay over there. But if I swap this, oh, right click is add. What am I adding? A three by three. So if I click there, okay, I got it. Click there, click there and click there. Oopsies, I missed. We'll get used to this. As I miss. Oh, wait, um, hold on. What if I do? Okay, oh wait, I know what we can do. So if I add the layer here like this. a couple spots oh that's the bowls okay we got bowls and then if i go down here
two, three, four. Okay. Get rid of some of these flammables around here. Okay. I really hope this isn't... Ow! Oh. I don't feel good about this. Let me... I feel like my house is like slowly coming on fire. That or it's just the smoke. Ooh, 12 slot container good for preserving grains and vegetables. Yes. My whole house on fire. Definitely think the house is on fire. I think this is what fire looks like, guys. <laughs> I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. All right. That was way too close. I thought that was just how the smoke looked in this game. Yeah, look, it's definitely burning down. Throw that out. I want to just get my basket out of here. These were like way too hard to... Took way too many materials to waste here. Honestly, everything else can go. Just not these baskets. Not these baskets, brother. All right. Well, that was a fun adventure. We learned how to fire clay. And we've also learned how to set fire to our house. All right. Next game, we're going to build a house that's not made of wood so we can do uh, clay fire next to each other. Good news, though. Um, it takes a short amount of time for your entire house to, uh, to burn down than it does for the bowls to be ready. Well, that was a fun time. I enjoyed that. Let's just continue with what I was doing. Pretend that didn't happen. So we are going to... Uh, there's no reason to be doing this with a, a one by. All right, we got a raw storage vessel complete. There we go. Then, oh, a bear. Where did he come from? There's a pond over there. I don't have spears on me. They were on my house, which burnt down. Whew. Sir Trader. All right, it left me. Okay. And I set fire to the rain. All right, good. So why don't we just get a bunch of storage vessels, even if they don't work for anything other than food, I'm sure I will fill it up eventually. All right, beautiful. We've got our first bowls here. And with this, this should be enough to get our bowls fired up. And then we can take a look next time into cooking. And we can start getting some better meals and probably hunger shouldn't be uh, nearly as bad of a crutch for us. And then what I do want to do is flatten this world out. Let me take a look at this guy here. Hello. Storage vessel. Put you uh, just right here. All right. So vegetables perish uh, 30% at a 30% rate. Grains at a 20% and others at 39. That's actually really, really nice. All right, we can do the water tricks. He's running away. He's almost dead. He, he baited me. He baited me. I'm out of arrows. Definitely like spears better. Yeah, I'm dead. All right. Definitely like spears better. I mean, those guys are going to be super thick, but I'm not a big fan of the arrows. They're very hard to find, and they do have a high chance to break. And I think it was a 30% chance to break on impact, which means if you make six of them, uh, it'll break pretty quickly compared to spears. So I think I'm going to stick with the spears for quite some time. Having three seems to be pretty decent. Look at the rams. They're beautiful. So we should be back at the shabby spawn point, which was right here. Actually, that's where I spawned that last time. So it seems to be a radius. So it seems like we spawn around here somewhere. No big deal, though. So we'll continue this next time. I'm going to make some spears to get us all kitted up again. Go back out for adventure. 
we're gonna build a new home while looking into pottery so we can get better food for us and uh checking out our new storage capabilities because with those vessels we'll be able to hold 36 things so that'll be fantastic and maybe if we have enough time we'll take a little peek ski over at leather making but all right brothers and sisters as usual this has been shabby do and i'll thirst your day is not too shabby <laughs>